everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Disney California Adventure for the opening night of Oogie Boogie Bash. It's one of our favorite events and they've changed it up this year. There's new characters. We'll show you everything. So why don't you come with us on, on this, this adventure. adventure. Oogie Boogie Bash debuted in 2019 and we've gone to it every single year since then. It is our absolute favorite after hours event that Disney does. It is a Halloween party where adults could dress up, children could dress up, you go trick or treating, you meet characters, there's photo ops, there's a parade, there's so much stuff, there's never enough time, there's special food, we have our map, we need to study it and see where everything is, figure out what we're doing. But I'm so excited to be back because every year they introduce new characters, new villains. There's quite a few this year that we need to see. Let's get to it. Normally our number one pro tip is to not wait in the long lines in the beginning of the night, but we wanted to see one of the new characters, Ernesto de la Cruz from Coco, and his, he happened to be the first one that we saw, so we jumped in the line, and I'm so freaking excited to see him. The line is so long that it's wrapping into Avengers Campus. <laughs> but it's moving pretty quickly. There you go. Thank you. I got good. bag duty Bye. tonight. <laughs> oh my god, how cool is this? Oh, gracias, mi familia. Wow. I can say the same as you. Well, not as great as me, but it does the trick, or a treat. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye, remember me. Great, I'm definitely gonna remember him. <laughs> oh yeah. Would you say that this is already better than Not So Scary? Ooh, uh, that's a bold statement. Um, we'll have to find out. Okay. More to come. Right, where we go? That was amazing. Like, they perfected his face and his outfit. Like, he looked so real. Wow. This is off to a good start. That was so sick. Like, like I don't know, it's like, his cheekbones look so real. I feel like I was just watching the movie. That's a great way to start the night, I will say that. The other, one of the hut new things here this year is Minnie, Clarabelle, and Daisy are dressed as the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. And they're all the way in Hollywood land. I'm sure there's a huge line. This is not like a trick or treat trail where what we just did, we walked through. This is like, you gotta line up. So I'm wondering how, how, how many people are in line for this. Oh, look at this. This is an insane line. Are you gonna wait in this line? Look at Lumiere oh. right oh, there. Oh my god! Look at Lumiere! Wait, Hello, guys. I think I recognize oh, you from somewhere. Oh, you Maybe, I know. Oh, I know. Okay. You were in that movie, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, you know what? Let me illuminate this situation. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Fifi. <laughs> you guys always have the best costume. Peter, we just want to hang out with you because your class is still a show. Every time you come in, you look like a million dollars. You should have saw me at Hard Nights. I was glowing, literally. Glowing? Yes. <laughs> So we decided to actually wait in the line to meet the Sanderson sisters. We were just gonna like do a drive-by, but then we somehow got talked into waiting in the line and it is going so slow. That's why I love Oogie Boogie Bash so much because they have the trick-or-treat trails where you can basically do the drive-by and walk by and see the characters. I wish they did more of that and like less of the people. I don't need to like hang out with them. I just want to like see them. Oh. 
So we waited about an hour for Daisy, Clarabelle, and Minnie dressed as the Sanderson sisters. I think it was worth it, but that said, that's one-fifth of the event time for Oogie Boogie Bash. I have two pro tips. Number one, just keep in mind if you're planning to meet them, it's probably gonna take at least an hour like minimum. So you have to be okay with waiting that long. And then the second tip is probably wait until it's nighttime because the photos look way better once it gets dark. And with that, we are already camped out for the Frightfully Fun Parade that starts at 7.45. This event is blowing by, but we're having fun. This parade compares to Boo to You over at the Magic Kingdom. I remember this one being pretty good, so we'll see.
Was it shorter than? I don't think so. Maybe just Boo to You is like 10 times longer. But I love that parade. I don't think it's quite as catchy as Boo to You, but it's like right below it. And right now we're going to a trick or treat trail over by the Hyperion where they have Madame Mim from The Sword in the Stone. This is another brand new character they added this year. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Thank Happy you so Halloween much. to you as well. Go, go, squeeze. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. <laughs> did you all come to see me? Yes. You did. The magnificent, marvelous, mad madam Mim. <laughs> Sons are my dear. Oh, you know, back at my cottage, it's nice and dark and dreary, kind of like the Oogie Boogie Bash. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my dear. I, I love your owl back there. Oh, thank you, my pet owl. <laughs> I'm the magnificent, marvelous Mad Madam Moo. Of course, I can transform, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to, I could be a large purple dragon, or I could be a beautiful young woman. Kind of like these two right here. Hello, my dear. Hello. You look practically dreadful. Oh, thank you. You, 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 oh. you so <laughs> Thank you. Do you like my hair? Yes. My spiders did it for me. <laughs> Cobwebs and all. Another thing compared to Not So Scary in Florida, they give you so much more candy. There's like six treat stations for every trick or treat trail. Yeah, and they give you craisins and goldfish and uh, go-gurt squeezes. I remember last year they give you like temporary tattoos. They give you like everything, not just candy. Uh oh, I'll take the last of it. I know, seriously, <laughs> we're almost done. Thank you. Uh -oh. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> we cleared them out. Yes. I think I'm done with candy for the day. Our, my bags are completely full. So right now we're going through Avengers Campus and I'm actually not sure if there's anything special going on here. Last year they had Zombie Cap. We didn't get to see him. And they also had Agatha, which we loved. I'm not sure if she's returned this year. Oh, it looks like she might have. Let's go see Agatha. want a healthy treat, go visit Agatha and they give you grapes. I mean, they give you candy too, but then they also give you grapes. That is something a witch would give you. <laughs> but it's healthy, so I got some. Loki, I have to ask you, what's your favorite Halloween candy? That's a good question. No one's shared any with me so far. I do like sweet. I also like savory. Something about the combination of the two. That can really get you. So if you have any you would like to share with me, let me know. Not that I'm taking anything, they're giving it out for free, so not the best kind of knife. I should have gave him some of mine. I'm trying to get rid of it. Okay, so I got rid of my candy. I gave it to a very lovely family. And it was actually really funny because they were dumping it and they had like this huge bag of candy and it was on their stroller and it actually tipped over the, the stroller and then all the candy fell out. It was like my candy that made it fall over. Well, I told them they should have just eaten it. Don't put it in the stroller, just eat it immediately and then you won't have that problem. But I feel good. See, I'm not tempted. But I did give them my grapes. I forgot to eat my grapes before I gave it to them. And we're going through Cars Land right now. Cars Land is so decked out to the nines for Halloween. I love it every year. 
And it's also one of the only locations that has special food for Oogie Boogie. And we're hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have anything since lunch. So let's go get some food. Get in, witches. We're going to Oogie Boogie Bash. Pro tip, always do mobile order because the lines at these special events are insane. And you don't want to wait in line, especially when you only got five hours. So mobile order it. So one of the only exclusive items here at Oogie Boogie Bash is at Flo's, and it is the loaded buffalo chicken fries. These are steak fries topped with chicken tenders, tossed in buffalo sauce with blue cheese and celery, drizzled with ranch. So during the day here, during Halloween time, they have chicken tenders covered with buffalo sauce. They basically just chop them up, put them on top of some fries, put some uh, blue cheese and ranch on top. It's very enjoyable. It's like one of those like, you know, late night snack kind of things. This is a hidden spot right now. It might also be that I didn't have dinner. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five beaters. <laughs> I like it. Another one of the exclusive items is the loaded gravy fries. These are steak fries topped with chicken tenders and cheese curds smothered in gravy. Look at the amount that you get. This is like insane. Mm. The gravy has a little bit of a kick to it, surprisingly. I was not expecting that. These are delicious. I feel like one of the most underrated items in all of the Disneyland and DCA are these steak fries from Flo's. Like these are good by themselves and then you put a bunch of stuff on top. Both of these are a winner. This probably also gets like, like a four out of five from me. And it's a huge portion and I'm gonna eat it all because I am starving. <laughs> We've been covering Oogie Boogie Bash for, since 2019. There's a lot new this year, so we're just trying to focus more on like the new stuff this year. It's always like a struggle. There's always like, you don't have enough time to do everything, so you gotta pick your battles and pick what you wanna see. And this year we've basically picked the new stuff. Over by Paradise Pier Gardens, Mickey Mouse, the one from Kingdom Hearts is actually meeting. I'm sure they have other characters from Kingdom Hearts as well but I've never actually seen Mickey in this outfit before, so that was kind of cool. I found some of the Oogie Boogie Bash merchandise. Doesn't seem like they have a lot, or at least they don't at this location, but there is a sweatshirt, Oogie Boogie Bash 2022, and a woman's cut t-shirt. Looks like both of those, gl oh, glow in the dark. Okay, that's a choice. I couldn't pull that one off. There's also one of these like, what would you call these? Like these little wine tumbler things? I like this one because it's spark sparkly. Corksicle. Yeah, corksicle. <laughs> there's not that much merch. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, this is cool. Look at it. It matches your glasses. You need it. <laughs> Does he not need it? I like how the inside of this has like this purple pattern. But that seems like it's the main merch. Is this hoodie, right? Yeah. And we hear that there's some new characters over by Grizzly River that have never appeared before in a Disney park. So of course we gotta go check them out. We don't talk about fruit, no, 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 oh. I liked that song before, it was popular. But Bruno's here from uh, Encanto. Pretty cool. He's not really a villain, I mean, spoiler alert, but it's the first time we've ever seen him in a Disney park. Hi hey! Hi! Hey! Hey! Hope you're having a great time here at the Oogie Boogie Bash. We are! I'm Pringo Madrigal. What's your name? My name's Chris. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. We're so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here. I've got so many new friends. Yeah. I a lot of new people. Once you get out of the walls, pretty much anybody you meet becomes your best friend. I've, I've wondered, does it? Is it hard, like climbing all those steps every day? You know what? It's a good way to get your exercise in. It's a good workout, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I get go. to meet a lot of the rock friends. They help keep me motivated as well. <laughs> <laughs> While we waited an hour in line to meet the Sanderson sisters, we only waited five to ten minutes to meet Bruno. And I thought Bruno was going to be like a hugely popular character. I mean, he is popular. Everybody's so excited to see him. But we got in there fast, and that might be because we went during the second parade when everybody's watching the parade. So maybe that's a pro tip if you want to see one of these characters. Maybe try to see them while everybody else is watching the entertainment. Why do you think Bruno didn't have a longer line? I don't know. I think it's because no one's talking about where his meaning greet is. 
now we're on our way to meet another new character this year, Mother Gothel from Tangled. I'm gonna ask her how she stays so young and beautiful because I need all the tips I could get. I know, right? <laughs> what are your tips for staying so young and beautiful? Well, you have to have something to work with, of course, first of all. Obviously. And then a magical flower always does the trick. Okay. Too. If you happen to find a girl with flowing hair, that also does the trick, okay. but then you have to raise it. Oh my gosh. Much right. more tedious. That sounds like a hassle. It but is. It's worth it because you look beautiful. I am such a good mother, naturally. <laughs> so it came easy, really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any sources like that? Um, no, but I can keep a lookout for you. Oh well, I have everything I oh. need. I'm talking for oh. you since you asked. Um, no. Where'd you get Where'd you get the magical flower? From? Oh, I can't reveal my secret. Okay, darn it. I don't want you uprooting it like the okay. king and queen did all those years ago. Oh, you're right. So selfish, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. And just for the queen. <laughs> nice meeting you. I know it was. Well. <laughs> Stop taking everything so seriously. <laughs> she was delightful. Like when you said it was nice meeting you and she was like, yes it was. Of course it was. I'm eating a piece of candy. <laughs> we got really lucky because we were like the only people back there by chance. And we got like a real one-on-one -on -one personalized interaction with her. And she, you know, she gave up some of her beauty secrets, so that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> there was a stroller that just went by that was projecting Mickey Mouse cartoons on the ground before. What is this technology? What? <laughs> That's crazy. At the circle at the end of Buena Vista Street, they have a couple characters meeting and greeting. Disney characters from way back that we haven't seen in the parks for some time. It's fun to see them meeting and greeting. Is this called Carthay Circle? I think it might be called Carthay Circle. the new stuff this year at Oogie Boogie Bash, but there's a ton of stuff that we didn't get to see, including the spectacular Villains Grove, Oogie Boogie himself. If you haven't seen our footage from previous years, we'll put the video right over there. You don't want to miss it. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Toby Hill, Bailey Riddle, and the Traveling Tom Tom. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on the next adventure. adventure.